All right, um, this is the, this, the continuing on. We did a live stream and uh, the video was messing up for a second. So we just gonna continue on in the lesson. Uh, we were talking about uh, Esau being wicked, Donald Trump, uh, and we were bringing out Ezekiel 35. So you can continue on. Uh, read that, the last one that you read over. Ezekiel 35 and verse five. Mm -hmm. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred and and has has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword mm -hmm. in the time of their calamity in the time that their iniquity had an end. That's right. They've been killing us with the force of the sword for since ancient times, man. You know, uh, they even even nowadays the force of the sword is the modern the modern day sword is the gun, man. They're still killing us by the force of the sword, man. You know, the brother just mentioned earlier how uh, L.A., they just had a, a military drill in L.A. And they didn't warn the people anything, man. You know, this is a broad broad time of day, man. You know, and they just out and doing stuff, man. That's how Esau is. And they're, Esau, the, the so-called white men in this government, they're prepping for the things that are coming. They're getting ready for Jacob's trouble. And they're showing you so many signs, man. You know, but your people are going to be clueless to it and going to do as you please and think it's all a joke until shit hits the fan until Jacob's trouble comes. You know, because I've been noticing how they've been ramping up the entertainment on, on, on you know, period. You know, with this whole uh, LeBron thing, the NBA, uh, with the uh, Super Bowl. You know, there's a lot of distractions going on. Because sometimes I'm looking at it, I'm like, yo, this is just silly, man. Like, they really don't have anything to talk about. But the garbage that they're putting out. God. You know, little do they, little, little do, uh... Uh, our people know, man, that they, they really getting prepared and they're really serious about what they're getting ready to do. Uh, and that yeah. Super Bowl was shitty, too. Bro. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I heard. I ain't, yeah, it was shitty, I bro. See it. You know, and I really didn't see those things either. And also, the, you know, they distract us with these celebrities. Mm -hmm. um, huh. you, know, every, you know, you just had 21 Savage get locked up. Yeah. And then a couple of days ago, it was 6 9. Lil Bow Wow. Lil Bow Wow. So, you know, this is constant distractions they throwing at you. Mm hmm. That's right, it, it, and that's what it says in Obadiah, they should think to deceive the nations, man. You know, they, they going forth across the earth, man. They're killing our people with the sword, throwing these distractions out there, uh, showing us all of these di different stars and all that shit. And, man, that Super Bowl, too. Uh, man, the halftime show was bad. I don't know why they had Travis Scott and fucking Big Boy out there. Shit was terrible. Come you know on. what I'm saying? The main show, they, they, the main show was about uh, fucking Maroon 5. It, like, they had, literally, Big Boy and Travis Scott had snippets, man. You know, they're like, hey, let's get a nigga something. You know what I'm saying? That's really so, what that uh, was. Um, they had the, they had like missiles coming down on a halftime show. Yep. Wow. And it's showing like the destruction of America for you. Kind of, kind of, brother. I didn't even pick up. I, I saw it too, but I didn't even. I just thought Travis Scott was doing some dumb shit. But that's a, that was a good, good catch. That's right. It did look like missiles. And then what do they put in the air? One love and shit. You know what right. I'm saying? Put one love, and they're trying to push that that love doctrine, man. You know, con. Uh, give me uh Romans 13 and 10. Uh, when you part, I don't know if you get because I know you was holding something. Uh, but you know, because they they the things that they do to us isn't about isn't about uh, one love, man. It's huh. not about one love. You know, uh, the things that they they don't they only love their wickedness, all right. And they're gonna continuously be wicked time and time and time. And again. guess why they don't want us to bring it, bring his word out because mm -hmm. it's condemning them, man. Mm -hmm. and, and and instead of instead of getting themselves together, they they want to fight back. They want to they want to get rid of us. That's right. You know, because they you know the what what's that what's that scripture where it says the two prophets uh. Uh, condemn them or something like that. I'm not sure which one. Yeah, because we, we're constantly bringing out the scripture and the word. His word is getting out, mm -hmm. and we can tell it in their faces, even from our day to day. We, we can see that they know who we are. You know, and we and, and through the scriptures we're able to see uh, uh, their wickedness and I and identify it. You know, because they've been lying to us all these all these years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Roman. Yeah, kind of broke the show. Romans 13, and verse 10. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Mm -hmm. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Yeah, so love worketh no ill to his neighbor. So if these people really loved you, they wouldn't be uh, sentencing all our people to jail. They wouldn't be putting our people on death row. They wouldn't be shooting them down in the streets. They wouldn't be pummeling drugs in our neighborhoods. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't be locking us up in, in ghettos, you know? They wouldn't be uh, making our people look like the idiots on TV and trying to make Maroon 5 look good. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't be doing that stuff. And I'm, I'm doing a video on this. Lord will not be able to get through it before the Super Bowl get too far away. That damn uh, silver Lombardi trophy, that's an idol God. 
They were That's kissing true. it and rubbing yeah. it. That's an idol god, bro. Yeah. You know, he got Jake on. And I took, I, when I saw it, I just took hella pictures of it. I'm gonna, I already got him lined up to put the video together. So, Logan, I'm getting, That's a damn idol god, man. Our people through, man. It's silly, man. Yeah, kind of. It's silly, man. You didn't risk, you didn't risk your health, you know, going through injuries, going through practice Monday through Friday, you know, playing 17 weeks of football plus the playoffs or whatever, how many weeks it is. Just to just to just to uh, touch that 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 idol that they don't even get they don't even get to take home. Mm -hmm. It has to sit in their owner's office. That's right, brother. <laughs> that's, and that's what it says in Jeremiah ten. Just like the tree, these are dead guys. It says, "Thou shalt not be afraid," because these are dead guys. They can't speak nor breathe. You know. Uh, but this is the, the one you was thinking of. Uh, Revelation eleven and three. It says, "And I will give power unto my two witnesses." And they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth. Is that the one you were speaking of? Kind of will, uh, you know, that's talking about uh, Israel and, uh, and, and Judah. Judah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're prophesying now for a fulfillment of time Kinda. until Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai comes back. And they don't like that. That's right. You know, nope. they want to destroy the prophets. Kind of. And this, it goes in on it. It says, these are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the power of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth. Out of their mouth and devour their enemies, and and if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Well, so that hey, right now this is we're breathing fire, man. The Lord, the Lord, the word of the Lord is a consuming fire, man. So we're we're going to devour our enemies. It says if any of them shall hurt them, all right. It says in he must in this manner be killed, man. You know, so th these uh, Edomites are going to be taken out of power, man. These Edomites are going to be completely killed, man. You know, it says in Psalms 105, uh, harm not, uh, do, no, do my prophets no harm and touch not my uh, anointed, man. You know? But uh, you had a, a precept, brother? Yeah. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Woe to the rebellious children, say of Yahweh. Take the, that, so I can look. Uh, Isaiah 30 and 1, Woe to the rebellious children, say of Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me. Mm -hmm. They don't take counsel of Yahweh, but Shemiel Shah. Just like that that woman, hey, uh, Esau, the government, my daddy, they didn't want to provide everything. They don't take counsel of Yahweh, but Shemiel Shah. They think Esau's going to provide it for them. Go ahead. And that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, mm -hmm. that, that they may add sin to sin. That's transgression, man. As they do, they stack sin upon each other, man, and think it's not a big deal, man. It's because their dad, uh, their father, believes in doing wickedness. So they follow after him, man. But we follow after Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, Lord willing, we those men. You know? Go ahead. That walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth. That's right. They're going to walk down into Egypt, man. They they gladly get in that... Uh, a damn uh, welfare line, man. You know, they gladly do all of those things. They gladly, uh, like, hey, Esau, can you give me uh, something to help me off my bills? You know, especially these women, man, completely bugged out. You know, I understand sometimes, you know, brothers got to do what they got to do. But shit, the thing is, when you put your hope and your faith and your confidence in this system, that's when the problem comes in. You're not, it says you're not taking counsel of your house by Shemiah I don't know. Interested in man. Come on. Yeah. I, you know, I, it, it, this, this is not living, man. This life is not worth living because if we're not if we're not living the way that the Most High in, uh, created us to live, then it's not worth living. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I, I'm not happy here. I mean, I hate getting up, working some <laughs> some odd hours per week, man, for for uh, for, 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 for for change, bro. Mm -hmm. For change, man. And these people, bro, I, I hate. And you know what? I the scripture says, "Envy every not the wicked," but I hate to see them in their success, man. I hate to see them with their head high. You know, with their shirt tucked in, going to work with their, you know, like leather. Shit yeah, like this shit, don't stink with the leather yeah. shoes. And then I'm looking at me, paying attention to myself. I'm in a freaked up car, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Doing the lowest end job. Mm -hmm. Man, I don't feel good about that. That's right, man. But hey, you know, all that shit is for a season, man. That's why I say rejoice and be glad. So at the end of the day, man, it's fucked up when we see that shit. But it's like, hey, go ahead and enjoy it up. Because yeah. it's, almost, it's almost time for that shit to come yeah, to an end. that's man. the comforting part. Come on. That's right. I had this quick one because you say, you know, I hate this place, man. This is one of my favorites. Ecclesiastes 2 and 17. Therefore, I hated life because the work that is wrought under the sun is grievous unto me. Come on. For all is vanity and vexation of spirit. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So, hey, the prophets hate this, hate this life, man. 
The, the men of the Lord are, are they're not going to be one with the things that are going around them because everything is vanity, vexation, and spirit, man. Even those Edomites with them nice cars and shit, that's just vain, man. That's just them trying to uh, have a little man complex, trying to prove something that they ain't got, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's vexing to be in this place, man. You know? I just did a video, therefore I ain't alive. That's right. I, I got a quick precept. Just Come, Come. Right there. Um, this is a book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1 and verse 14. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun, and behold, all is vanity and vexation of spirit. And all this work, you know, it, it, it vexes it vexes the spirit. You know, Lord will be part of that number. Um, and it's vanity. You know, it all means nothing at the end of the day because, you know, we look forward to the kingdom. That's right, brother. You know? Uh, somebody holding something? I had a little bit more. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's a lot here, bro. Uh, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 2. Uh, that, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth mm -hmm. to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. You see that? They they, they, they strengthen themselves with uh, this their society, their doctrine, their uh, sweet Jesus, their armies, mm -hmm. their military. You know, that's how they strengthen themselves, man. And these people are in a mirage, you know, when even that shadow, man. These people are in a mirage, you know. They're, they're, they're like uh, fucking Peter Pan, you know. Huh. Peter Pan was always chasing this fucking shadow and shit, huh. you know. And that's how these people are, man. They they ch chasing after the shadow of Esau, man. Believing in, in wickedness, man. All right? But you're supposed to trust in the light. And it, it, it speaks about, uh, give me Isaiah 8, 20. You know, it speaks about uh, the light, man. You know? And so they're trusting in, because that shadow of Egypt has... Uh, Melted over into America, all right, to do the same things, to worship the same gods, to do all the things as a, a as a mirrored reflection of what Egypt did, you know. And so the Lord got to do away with that. What did He do to Egypt? He fucked Egypt up, man, you know. And Egypt goes back to um, uh, Mizraim and Matzahim, all right, uh, meeting bitter, you know. That was a, a bitter place for us. And America is bitter as well. <laughs> That's the uh, what America really means is bitter. You know, so these these things are bitter unto us, and they're bitter unto Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. So he's gonna fuck up America worse than he did uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, worse than he did Egypt, worse than he did uh, even when he flooded the earth. America's gonna be fucked up more than when he flooded the earth, man. Because even after he flooded the earth, did not he, uh, the the raven and the dove they brought back uh, flowers and things unto them, oh, and the they saw the grass leaf, again. Right. They brought the olive leaf. Oh. So uh, he says in America there shall neither be root nor branch, man. <laughs> so America's gonna be fucked. <laughs> you know, <laughs> brother. <laughs> Isaiah eight and verse twenty, to the law and to the testimony. Mm -hmm. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. That's right. So they're not speaking according to this word. It's because they're in darkness, man. These people are in complete utter darkness, following after Esau, man. All right, but we're following after Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It says if they not speak according to this word, there is no light in them, man. And we're we're chasing after the light, man. We're chasing after Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. We if you see that light at the end of the tunnel, you go towards the light, man. You don't turn your ass around like, hey yo, I'm gonna just go this way. You know what I'm saying? That's what these people are doing, man. They're they not speaking according to the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know? Come, brother. Uh, Isaiah chapter thirty verse three. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. <laughs> And the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. See that? They, they trust in, uh, in, in, in Pharaoh, man. That's going to be their shame, man. So thinking that Donald Trump is going to lead them out of something is your shame. Thinking that the elites going to help you in a time of trouble is going to be your shame, man. All right? And trusting in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. All right? Because Babylon goes back to confusion. But ball, man. You know? So it's all confusion, man. And LGBTQPD, that shit is confusion, man. All right, everything in this place is confusing, man. You you got they. I mentioned this in the camp the other day. They got this challenge going around where the men dress like their women and the women dress like their men, and they switch clothes and shit, man. You know that's confusing, man. You when you you got a, a three year old growing up in the house and he don't know if mama's mama or dad's dad, man. You know that's confusing, man. Oh, it's, it's like here. Mm -hmm. I, I work with a chick, man, and this chick, she's she's a she's a, a lesbian. Mm -hmm. And this this girl had the nerve to tell me, she was like, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, it was talking about something. And she was like, yeah, we're we're on the same team. I'm like, no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, and she felt offended that I I spoke my mind like that. She was like, yeah, we're we're after the same thing. I said, no, we're not. 
okay? We're not on the same team. I said, I'm a superstar <laughs> on my team. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're an honorary member. Remember, I had to keep it, you know, worldly. Right, right. I said, you're an honorary, an honorary member of the team. You're at the end of the bench. That's right. Okay, we the superstar. That's right. But the, the fact, the nerve of her to, to think that we on the same team. Since y'all chasing, <laughs> <laughs> Since y'all chasing after women, she think y'all. No, bro. Nah, bro. You, you just, in that, in that case, you just making it harder for the men on our team to score. Come you on, know what bro. I'm saying? You, you ain't on the same team. You working against us. Come on, man. <laughs> Say, I know them better than you do. Come on, bro. Nah, come on. Man. All right, see. Hey, these people are through, man. These people are through, man. And that, that's that. That's that confusion. Thinking that they on the same. And that's a psychological thing too. Yeah. To yeah. think that you're on the same level as a man. To think that you're on the same playing field. You know, that's a, a psychological delusion. You know, and so the, that's what Esau does, man. He does not. He he pervert. Ultimately, the worst thing he does is pervert people's minds, man. You know. Uh, but uh, did you have more on that scripture? No. Con, con. You had something. No. Okay. You know. So uh, these these basically these things that are going on with uh, Donald Trump in this world, man, are completely out out of sorts, man. And these people are are going to continuously be blinded. Uh, give me a uh, Second Corinthians four and four. And uh, if any brothers ain't got no scriptures after this, we can wrap it up too. Actually, start at three. I got a true piece of Okay, come on. Um, about that um, the scripture in Revelation. Yeah. Um, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 14. Wherefore, thus said Yahweh, power of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. You know, because the, the words of Yahweh Shem is is fire. It's mm-hmm. fire, and we we're spiritually we we burn up these other nations, mm-hmm. even two thirds of our people. You know, we cutting them. That's right, brother. And um, verse fifteen says, "Lo, I will bring a nation upon you from far, O house of Israel." Say of Yahweh, it is a mighty nation. It is an ancient nation, a nation whose language thou knowest not, neither understandest what they say. You know, so these words, these these words are devouring you heathen nations. You know that's why Donald Trump and you know and all these um, high elites, you know, they they, they um they're frightened because of the Hebrew Israelites. They know their kingdom is getting is getting slowly but surely brought down. That's so right, yeah, how he's he's giving them jabs right now, and <laughs> now he's, then he's going to body punch them. Then he's going to give them the haymaker. <laughs> that's right, bro. That's right. Hey, actually, uh, can you give me Jeremiah twenty three and twenty nine? Because that's that's a beautiful point you brought up. Man. It says our word, his words are as fire, and these people are as wood, man. You know, you everybody that had a bonfire, uh, you know, twenty three and twenty nine. Everybody that had a you know a, a seen a fireplace or you know went camping or some shit like that, man. You know, or a, a, even an incense, man. You know that shit burn up, man. And you ain't got no chance against it, man, because it's, ain't no, you can do nothing against the words of Yahweh. We, ah, man, the thing is, we got we talking about a heavenly, heavenly spiritual thing, man. You you people think you can combat with the Most High, man? That's the thing. You think you can level up with these words? Ain't nothing la- outlasted this Bible. Ain't nothing outlasted these words. The Lord says, uh, "These the, the heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away, man." Right. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So this is everlasting, man. You know, something that these people can't take hold to, you know? But uh, go ahead and bring that out real quick. Right. Jeremiah 23 and verse 29. Mm-hmm. It is not my word like like as fire, saith the Lord, mm-hmm. and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. That's right, man. It's not my word like as a fire, man. All right? So Yahweh should be our shot's word is as a fire, man. And he burns up everything about around the body. He said, my, it's not my uh, word as a hammer. That breaks the rocks in pieces. The rocks are the, uh, these uh, different philosophies, man. And he able to break break up every so-called religion, so-called belief, so-called faith, all of that with the scriptures, man. His word is as a fire and a rock, man. You know? And that's that's the power we serve, man. The power of Israel, the Holy One of Israel, man. The creator of heaven and earth, man. And we're seeing it before our faces, man, that they're denying the word of the Lord. Mm-hmm. In front of our faces, they're denying it. This, this, it just is proving that they never believed. Uh, you know what I'm saying they're, they're showing to the whole world how they don't believe in the Most High. That's right. You know what I mean, and so there's after the Most High, after the, after Yahweh you have, you have, you have to do what He got to do, there ain't gonna be no. You know what I'm saying asking why. That's right. It's gonna be a wrap, man. It's gonna be a wrap, you know? and everybody's gonna know. <laughs> that's it. And you know nobody I mean? gonna ask why. Why is this happening? We told you. Come. You know, that's what the brothers always say. This is gonna be the biggest I told you so ever, man. 
You know, and everybody gonna be. That's why. That's why men gonna be passing the fuck out. You know. Uh, uh, let's uh, get that real quick. Luke twenty first chapter. Uh, it's like verse twenty five. Luke twenty one and twenty five. They really hope the Most High is uh, pump faking. They really hoping that you know mm-hmm. he, he he not you know not he like he just playing. Nah, man. Come. And yeah. we're a witness. We're a witness. Twenty six. We're a witness to their face. The power of the Most High, man. That's right. We're a witness to their face, and they know it. Mm-hmm. Faithful witnesses. Come. You know. Come. Faithful witnesses, man. Believing in this thing, man. You know, we believe, therefore we preach, man. You know, these people are unbelievers. He says, those that are unfaithful, let them die in their unfaithfulness, man. You know? But uh, you, you were holding, oh, that Corinthians. 2 Corinthians yeah, 4. 4 and 3. Come on. 2 Corinthians 4, verse 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are that are lost. That's right. But, hey, if you're not hearing what we're saying, that means is you're lost, man. All right? You're a, that means you're a two-third or you're, you're a heathen, you know? And you're, you're not going to receive this, man. And this word is hid unto you, man. All right, but this gospel, this good news, is going to comfort the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, we see the beauty of it. We see the majesty and the miraculous works that uh, Yahweh Shai did, man. We 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 receive all of those things. We see the lamentation more than the woe in these scriptures, man. We're able to reconcile with, hey, this was our our ancestors. These were the things that we went through, man. You know, but if our God, if this gospel is here, it's because you're lost, man. You know, and what did they say in um, what's that movie, uh, Baby Boy? He said, uh, you know, when they were doing a prayer, he says, uh, Lord, if you don't leave me, uh, forgive me for being lost. Hey, man, no, you got to seek the Lord. Ain't going to forgive me for being lost. You got to try to get unlost, man, you know, because the Lord ain't going to forgive you for being lost. Either you lost or you're going to seek to be, seek to find, man, you know, and so you seek him, he'll come in and sup with you, man, you know. Seek the Lord while he can't be found. That's right. Uh, uh, it's one more. Yeah, it's one more. Come on. Verse four, in whom the power of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. That's right. He blinded the minds of the two-thirds, man. He blinded the minds of the heathen. All right? So we, we do this thing, and we are we fully understand that they're not going to get it. But we have a job to seek the elect out of all of that nonsense. You it, know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a powerful thing because faith is the beginning of all of this. Mm-hmm. I mean, without faith, you're not going to be able to get this understanding. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to just, just with faith, man, just take it on. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people, they just stop at the door and they go, they don't even come in, bro. That's it. A lot of people, they think this this book was written by an actual an actual man, but it says the Lord He gave the word. Mm-hmm. So the Lord He He put His Spirit among the um, the prophets to write the scripture. Mm-hmm. Everything, so everything it was written by the Lord. It's so like it's like everything that that is read is written by man. Mm-hmm. I mean, they just don't want to give the most high the, the glory and the credit. Right. Right. Yeah, it got to take a holy, uh, spiritual man to receive that. You know what I'm saying? You know, to receive that these are heavenly words, man. What else is written like the Bible, man? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> what, what other book is written like the Bible, man? Nothing can compare. It says, none shall have her mate, man. All right? So you can't even make the Bible with another book, man. You can't compare it to another book, man. This this is a heavenly, heavenly book, all right? You know? Uh, and a lot of those self-help books, man, they be, they be taken from the scriptures, man. Mm-hmm. They really be taken from the scriptures because before I came before I came to the truth, uh, I was reading a whole lot of self help books. But then when I when I grabbed the grabbed the, held on to this uh, to the to, to the scriptures mm-hmm. and I started reading it, I'm like, hold on. These other books are imitating the scriptures. Mm-hmm. They're, they're they're trying to bring a, a, a false sense of uh, spirituality and the, a false sense of you know of a higher level, mm-hmm. but. Those are, yeah, no, nobody going to want that. They think that they try to act like they're wise, man. Come on. You know, but that's what the Lord said. He shall destroy the wise man out of T-Man and the damn, man. Come on. You know, all these all these people going to be done. Well, even even rappers sometimes be taking stuff out of the scriptures. You know, J. Cole had a song, False Prophets, that I don't get tired of shit from uh, Kevin Gates. That's really Isaiah 40, 40 and like 29 and 30. You know what I'm saying? The Lord says he weary, he don't weary, he don't faint. Come you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of this stuff, people be giving from scriptures. They try to change it up. And finesse it and make it sound good so they can get sales and, and give shit, the man. glory to somebody else. That's right. That's right. Or take a, the glory for themselves. Huh. Sorry. Sorry. I went to a bookstore and um, I was seeing like like Joel Osteen and Creflo Dollar. They got they make they make books of their own, you know, just to try to like simplify the scriptures. You know, like, like y'all was saying, they they try to make these other books, but they just copying the holy scriptures. Yeah, Ecclesiastes twelve and twelve, Doctor Shot. That's right, brother. That's all they do, man. You know, and <laughs> if you think about the logic in that, you're a pastor. Why do you need another book besides the Bible? If you're supposed to be a so-called man of God, why are you making another book? 
You know, and the, the scripture speaks about that. And the brother's about to read it. Huh. Ecclesiastes 12 and 12. Ecclesiastes 12, verse 12. Mm -hmm. And further, by these, my son, be admonished of making many books. There is no end. There is no end, man. So all these people got, and ultimately it's talking about like religious books and stuff. But nonetheless, all these huh. books out here that people make to self-help, uh, spirituality, how to get into, you know, I, I be in like, I go in like different shops and I look for like old Bibles and stuff like that. And you see all of the nonsense that's in there, man. You got to weed through all of the filth, man. And so these people see them, you see, you walk into a library, you see all these damn books. You can learn little tips from each of those books, but most of that shit is bullshit, man. I'll be like, hey, where's the Bible set? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck all this other stuff. And then, you know, I, I went to a, a thrift store down in Boca uh, a couple days ago, and I got, like, three King James Version Bibles. When I'm in there, the lady, like, she, you know, she looking at me strange, like, you got all the Bibles? Like, what the hell? You know, she looking at me weird as hell. I got all this other shit in here, and you getting the Bibles. She was like, she was like uh, I bought two and, like, this scarf. And she was like, uh... She was like, you don't want one more because... And they was cheap, too. They was like three dollars, two, three dollars a piece. You know what I'm saying? They give them... Y'all tripping. You got gold sitting up in here. You selling them for two, three dollars. So I'm like, all right. I'm like, yeah. She like, you don't want to get one more because it's ten dollars uh, to use your car. I was like, all right, yeah. Let me see if I can find another one. She was like, I got a Gideon's right here for you. I was like, nah, I'm cool. I was like, kick KJV. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and so that shit was funny. But it's like, you know, this dude just bought out all my Bibles. You know, fuck all these other shit, man. Where your Bibles at? You know, so uh, make it, be wary of uh, making the many books, man. You know, and read, read on, actually. Come on. And it says, and much study is a weariness of the flesh. That's right. So reading all of that, even though this, you can take this scripturally, even studying scriptures, you'll get tired, man. But in the world, it's a weariness of your flesh to try to seek out all of that bullshit. When the Lord is giving you righteousness and the answer right here. You know what I'm saying? You, you making yourself, you wearing yourself out, man. You know, and that's that's gonna completely pollute your mind. Yeah, you know, you speak to people saying, "Oh, I don't know what to believe. I don't know what to believe." You ain't got no faith. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you ain't got man. no understanding. Some of these books be casting our people further out in you know in the outer darkness, man. It be like really? you be having you some of your homeboys be like, "Yeah, I read this book." Da, 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 da. I'm like, "Yeah, I hear you, man." Mm -hmm. But that's not it. It's like that boondock shit. Yeah. <laughs> boondock. He was like the uh, after uh, Egyptologist dude talking all the shit. He's like. What the hell did you just say, man? Oh, just saying all of that nonsense, man. They actually do that to the Egyptologists because they don't got no foundation to stand on, so they just talk. The you know universe, the universe. You mean you mean the Most High? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they ain't be getting over nerves. They be giving credit to the universe. Yeah. I, you mean the Most High, man? Fools, man. Come Fools. on, man. Stop, bro. Nah. Stop. That's right. But y'all, did y'all have anything else? I got this one or two. Kind of. Oh, uh, what was that? Luke twenty-one point two. Oh yeah, kind of. We can wrap it up on that one. Luke. 21 and verse 26 mm -hmm. men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth that's why men gonna be having heart attacks man because we were saying like everybody was on the first face of the earth they gonna ask why man they gonna know we told them all right so they they, they gonna have heart attacks when they see the messiah return they gonna have heart attacks when they see yahweh shine in the air with them chariots man and them angels and uh, them nuclear missiles coming. They're going to pass off. Hey, the Lord, <laughs> the Lord will mess around and have a man have a heart attack and die and resurrect his ass and then just to get hit by a missile, man. Oh, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit like that is going to take place, man. Men's hearts failing them for fear. <laughs> for fear, oh. man. He ain't say fun and have a good time. No, man. Ain't going to be no, oh, I ate too much so I had a heart attack. No, your ass going to be scared. Dude. You're going to shit your pants, piss yourself, and your heart going to collapse. Something you that know? the world has never seen, That's never right. experienced. That's, That's right. right. Of course. Mm -hmm. That's, That's right, brother. Really yeah. You got it? So much, nah. I okay, kind of. We'll read it over again. Okay. Luke 21 and 26. Men's hearts failing, for, failing them for fear mm -hmm. and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. That's right. Even Jacob's trouble. Men going to be dying in that time having heart attacks because of their fear. You know? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Mm -hmm. That's talking about the, the missiles going to come in and going to shake the heavens, man. It says the earth shall shake to and fro like a drunkard. And ultimately, when Yahweh Shah cracks the atmosphere of the earth, you're going to feel the power. It's Energy. not going to be your, in, the, your, 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 your whole DNA is going to feel that something has entered into the atmosphere. <laughs> hey, uh, the Dragon Ball Z reference, you know what I'm saying? When you can feel this power source, like, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, they used to be far away. You know, they'd be like, somebody's coming. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. 
let their readers a pop. Like, <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah, you know, somebody's coming, man. You know, and they they coming, in, and the Lord's coming in true power, man. You know, so these are things that are about to come from the earth, man. That that power that you don't feel that tension. You gonna be like something else is here, man. That spiritual, you ain't. You are gonna feel it before you even gonna see the Lord, man. You know. But go ahead, brother. Verse twenty-seven, and then, so like, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Mm -hmm. That's Yahweh Shai, man, the Lord, the Messiah, man. All right, the uh, uh, Malak Shah, Malakim, uh, Adawan Shah, Adawanim, man, which means uh, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, man. He's the one who's coming on the earth, man. All right, go ahead. Verse twenty-eight, and when these things begin to come to pass. Then look up and lift up your head, for your redemption drive not. Why do you have about Shemir Ashad, man? We're going to be looking up, for because that's our redemption. Lord willing, we those men, man. We're going to be getting redeemed or all these other people getting ready for destruction, man, and mayhem. All right? So unless any brothers got any uh, finishing quotes or anything. All right, so uh, we're gonna wrap it up with that. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. All right, we want to give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the house of David the elect. Uh, much peace and love to those few sisters listening to humility to you. We say shalom. Shalom. shalom.